Monday the 15th of January, new Department for Transport guidance was issued on motorcycle access to bus lanes. Strangely, this release triggered some factually incorrect reporting from mainstream media. The Sun's headline read, Thousands of motorists could start using bus lanes to ease congestion in new rules from today. GB News reported, New driving law changes could see some vehicles use bus lanes in a bid to slash traffic levels. Both of these statements are wrong, so let's see if we can put the record straight and separate fact from fiction. If you ride a motorcycle, it's probably not news to you that motorcycles can use some bus lanes, but not all of them. MAG activists have been campaigning for motorcycle access to bus lanes for over 30 years. Here's some documentary evidence to prove it. In 1995, after months of talks and consultation, Avon County Council implemented an experimental scheme to allow motorcycles to use bus lanes in Bristol. Roll forward to 2002. Mag's long running campaign to get motorcycles into bus lanes has taken a big leap forward. In 2004, in response to persistent campaigning by MAG's vigorous Northern Ireland group, the region has opened up its bus lanes to motorcycles. And in 2005, Westminster is the first London authority to open up its arteries to bikers. And more recently, MAG activists in Yorkshire have succeeded in getting access to the first bus lane in Leeds. This is the Kirkstall Road into Leeds. The bus lane on this route is going to be subject to a motorcycle access trial. The trial is promised to begin in the spring of this year. That in itself may not sound remarkable. What is remarkable is the fact that it's taken eight years of campaigning to get to the point where this trial is going to begin. As Mag showed in a recent report, 48% of bus lanes now allow access to motorcycles. So claims from these non-motorcycling media outlets that changes have been made to the law or that suddenly thousands of motorists are going to be using bus lanes are just plain wrong. This new guidance that was released on the 15th of January specifically states that it does not change the existing policy position. There has been no change to the law. Councils have always been able to allow motorcycles to access bus lanes. It's their decision. It always was, and it still is. So this is the guidance that was issued by the Department for Transport, called the Traffic Advisory Leaflet 1-24. This new guidance does, without question, help us in our campaign to get motorcycle access to bus lanes. It makes useful comments such as, Ideally, once in a bus lane, motorcyclists should not have to check each section of the bus lane to see if they are allowed to use it. A bus route that allows intermittent use of bus lanes by motorcycles can be confusing to users and may pose enforcement difficulties. Traffic authorities should aim to ensure that as far as possible policies are consistent where bus routes cross boundaries. Clear guidance of this nature will certainly be an assistance to MAG campaigners and activists trying to get access to bus lanes. Take London for example. TfL bus lanes all allow motorcycle access, but from borough to borough there are different rules, so you can literally cross a border from one borough to the next, be happily riding in a bus lane in, in the first borough and then get a fine in the second borough, even though it's probably the same bus lane. I won't read the whole document out to you, you can read it for yourself and we'll leave a link in the description. What it's important to remember is that councils will only allow bus lane access for motorcycles if we ask for it. They're not going to suddenly jump up and start, start providing access unless we campaign for it. MAG activists have been chipping away at this problem for three decades now. Bus lane by bus lane, local authority by local authority. More recently, we've been making the case that the government needs to bite the bullet and make a default position for the whole country so that we have a standard and consistent policy across all local authorities. Out of a total of 584 miles of bus lanes in the UK, 
Motorcycles are allowed to use 281 miles. The majority of those 584 miles are in England, where there are 463 miles of bus lane, and we can ride in 201 miles of those, that's 43% of the length. In Scotland we can ride in 57%, Wales 54%, and in Northern Ireland 99%. So overall, for the UK, motorcycles have access to 48% of the total length of Withflow bus lanes. We tried running a campaign where we supported a petition calling for default access. Dr Mirza Ahmed is a barrister and a motorcyclist. He has raised a petition asking the Department for Transport to mandate motorcycle access in all Withflow bus lanes in England. Sadly, we could only get that petition up to about 14,000 signatures. But despite the low response to that petition, we have now got a promise from the government that there will be a consultation on default access to all bus lanes in the country. This is a promise that was made in the government's plan for drivers. As you can see here in the smoother journeys section, they mentioned the traffic advisory leaflet that we have just seen released and go on to say, that they will hold a consultation about whether motorcycle access should be standard. We all need to be ready for this consultation when it is launched. We need everybody to, uh, to respond in favour of default access. If we cannot show overwhelming support for default access to all bus lanes, we won't get it. It's as simple as that. And if we don't win default access, we will have to then resign ourselves to a further three decades of campaigning local authority by local authority, bus lane by bus lane, to get access and a consistent approach across the entire country. So whilst this new guidance may not be the silver bullet that we were hoping for, it will help our campaign work. So please join MAG and support our campaign for default motorcycle access in bus lanes. Or at the very least, look out for us flagging this forthcoming consultation. We can only realistically expect default access if we can show default support from the riding community for access to bus lanes.